ஹலோ வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த டாபிக் அன்பேலன்ஸ்டு வீட் சோன் பிரிட்ஜ் இந்த லாஸ்ட் லெக்சர் வி ஹவ் டாக் டு அபவுட் பேலன்ஸ்டு வீட் சோன் பிரிட்ஜ் அண்ட் திஸ் கிளாஸ் இட் இஸ் அன்பேலன்ஸ்டு வீட் சோன் பிரிட்ஜ் ஸோ டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் அன்பேலன்ஸ்டு வீட் சோன் பிரிட்ஜ் லெட் மீ ட்ரா ஒன் டிப்பிக்கல் வீட் சோன் பிரிட்ஜ் டயக்ராம் ஓகே ஃபோர் ரெசிஸ்டர்ஸ் let the junctions are a b and c d in between c and d usually one galvanometer will be connected the galvanometer purpose of connecting this galvanometer to measure the current flowing through the branch c and d right say this is p ohms and this is q ohms and this is r ohms and this is s ohms the condition for balancing is condition for balancing is the ratio p by q is equal to r by s now it is said to be null position is obtained if this condition is met the voltage at c and the voltage at d are equal if this condition is met say for example this is 6 ohms and this is 3 ohms and this is 1 ohms and s value is 0.5 ohms 6 by 3 is equal to 1 divided by 0.5 2 and this is also 2 now it is balanced with its own bridge at this condition vc is equal to vd the potential at c is equal to potential at d so vcd potential difference vcd vc minus vd since this two are equal zero potential difference so no current will be flowing through the galvanometer if there is no potential difference we know there won't be any current right the galvanometer will be showing the zero position it is known as a null position of the galvanometer null position null position so this is known as balanced reeds on bridge right instead of this one of the any one of the value let me change i am going to change the 0.5 ohms as 2.5 ohms now 6 by 3 is equal to 2 but here 1 divided by 2.5 is equal to 0.4 right it is not equal so unbalancing is obtained so this reeds on bridge is known as unbalanced reeds on bridge let me draw the diagram here this is 6 ohms and this is 1 ohms it was 3 ohms and it was actually 0.5 ohms now we have made it as deliberately to make it as a unbalanced wheat zone bridge it is 2.5 ohms i will have some instead of this galvanometer let me have one resistance also it is 9 ohms this junction is a and this junction is b as usual these two points are c and d so now it is clearly an unbalanced wheat zone bridge so the question is to find the value of equivalent resistance between a and b or ab we are given to find between a and b so for to solve this problem many methods are available applying kitchas voltage law by drawing one battery here and writing kitchas voltage law equation in the three loops we can find the value of a and b but i am going to teach you delta to star connection method delta to star connection this is delta which shape is star means it is y connection so this is delta a c d is one delta a c d a c d right star connection means we must make it as the equivalent y model similarly c d b is also one delta if you want you can convert this delta into a equivalent star any one of the delta network you can consider and to make it as an equivalent star connection the problem will become easy right so let me take this acd right the formula to make the equivalent 
star connection from the given delta connection is very simple, right? So, this formula is very popular. When two resistors are connected in parallel, say this is R1 and R2, the equivalent value you will write it as 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. From here you will write, after manipulating, R is equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the familiar formula we have used in so many times to find the equivalent resistance of two parallel connected resistors. I am going to extend this formula, extension of this formula. Just I am going to extend this formula to convert the delta into star. The formula is R is equal to the numerator is as usual R1, R2. Here R1 plus R2 plus R3. So in the delta network, three resistors are there. The third resistor will also be coming here. It is the popular formula for two resistor if they are connected in parallel. But this is the new formula, just I am extending it. R is equal to R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now the question is, which are R1 and which are, which is R1, which is R2 and which is R3, right? Look at here. ACD, this is the network I have considered. I am going to convert this ACD delta into a star network. At this junction A, I am drawing a new resistor. At this junction C, I am drawing a new resistor. At this junction D, I am drawing the new resistor. The other three ends are joined here. Now you will see one Y connection. This is one Y connection, equivalent to star connection, right? Right. For this resistor, this resistor is connected at junction A. At junction A, 6 ohms and 3 ohms are connected. They are R1 and R2. 6 ohms and 3 ohms are R1 and R2. 9 ohms will be coming as R3, right? So the equivalent value is 6 and 3, R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. 18 divided by 18, 1 ohms. Easy. Right. Now let us come here. At this junction C, 6 and 9 are connected. So 6 and 9 are known as R1, R2. R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now this 3 ohm is R3. 54, 54 divided by 80, which is 3. This value is 3 ohms. Here, 3 and 9 are R1 and R2. R1, R2. Because at this junction, they are connected. This value I am finding. 6 and, uh, sorry, 3 and 9. R1 plus R2 plus third resistor is the 6 ohms. 27 divided by 80, which is 3 by 2. Yes, over. Then, we don't want the delta ACD because it is converted. The green colored resistors are kept in our circuit. The ACD is now removed. This is now not at all required. The 6 ohms, 9 ohms and 3 ohms. Now they are not at all required. Yes. This is our new diagram. Now 3 and 1 are in series. 3 by 2 and 2.5 are in series. This will be coming in parallel and for this parallel connection 1 ohm is coming in series. So 3 and 1, this is 4 ohms. This is 3 by 2, 1.5, 2.5. This is also 4 ohms. And this is B and another resistor is available here, 1 ohms. And this is A. Actually, this is A, 1 ohms. Now, 4 and 4, the equivalent value is 2 ohms, 2 plus 1, 
3 ohms. The answer is 3 ohms. So, for this unbalanced Wheatstone breed, the resistance R A B is 3 ohms. Only thing is to remember this formula. Extension of the formula from parallel combination of two resistors. R1, R2, R2 plus R2 plus R3. Then which is R1, R2? The resistance which is connected at the same junction, the nearby, the adjacent resistors, they are called as R1 and R2. The other th res resistor will be known as R3. It's over, right? Thank you for watching the guys. Good luck.